All right, more madness. More madness coming from the um, liberal left. Um, and uh, this time it comes from a black woman. Probably a little bit shiny today because I'm trying to... Uh, had to cut my beard back down and come back up with some uh, some beard stuff, Amish crap, for um, to get my beard all nice and whatever because I was getting some uh, irritation. So, yeah, so I'm a little bit shiny right now because I got stuff from my beard. Anyway, uh, it says, in, uh, I'm looking at this on a Daily Mail, Indiana nurse uh, sparks fury after tweeting the white. And I'm just going to go ahead and um, write or uh, talk about her tweet here. Her tweet says, Every white woman raises a detriment to society when they raise a son. Someone with the highest propensity to be a terrorist, rapist, racist, killer, and domestic violence all-star. Historically, every son you had should be sacrificed to the wolves, B-word. Now, the the on the face value, you're you're definitely open, you're definitely okay, it's definitely okay to raise whatever opinion that you want. If you want to have an opinion, that's a great opinion. I'm glad that this person is able to put this kind of thing out because now we know where we stand. Now, the other thing, or where she stands, now the other thing I got to say about this is that you will have certain people, black folks, that will sit there and say that black people cannot be racist, that black people cannot be racist, and you got some black woman saying this. Now, imagine, imagine, if a white nurse had said this, if a white nurse said exactly what this woman said, it would be all over CNN. It would be all over MSNBC. Joy Reid and all those other talking heads would be talking about this. This would be front page news for everybody. That would be this would be all over. Now, the now the 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 uh, she's a nurse and, and her uh, her employer did fire her. She's from Indiana. And now, which which they have every right to do that. You're working at their job, which she's talking about uh, racist white people. I'm pretty sure, or she's talking about white men, this and that. And I'm pretty sure those are the same people that are signing her check. But that's beside the point. The issue here is that you will have these people that will sit there and try to make excuses for behavior or thoughts like this, like black people can't be racist. Black people very... Well, they say, well, black people don't have the way to suppress or uh, or to oppress uh, um, white people. So that for therefore black people cannot be racist. Get the hell out of here. If it if. If it walks like a duck and all that, if if this if two words can be switched around and it be considered racist, then it's then it is racist when the person says it, no matter what. This woman has said that it, basically every white, she didn't say ba every white man, every single white man, as if you don't have killers in the black race, you don't have t uh, basically terrorists in the black race, we're running around terrorizing the freaking neighborhood, That's but you don't have rapists in the black neighborhood. You don't have racists in the black neighborhood and uh, domestic violence. Uh, you don't have you don't have any of that going on in the black community. Of course, no. You only have this going on for white people. Now, like I said, I'm all about free speech and I'm all about this woman being able to say what she wants to say. But let's not get mad when someone white wants to say what they want to say or somebody Hispanic says what they want to say, because. I love this being able people to being able to say whatever they want to say because then I know exactly where you're coming from. I don't have to I don't have to play nice with you and wonder. I already know. And the fact of the matter is is that this is plain racism. But see, this is also what the liberal left and all this complaining and calling everything racist, it lets weak minded people like that think that they that 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 there's a white boogeyman behind every single corner. That's when you breed crap like this is when you just keep sit up and say and keep calling everything racist and call everybody racist. Because then you have weak minded people that will take it and that will take that and run with it. So I'm gonna link this in the description. Uh if anybody hasn't haven't already heard about it already, but I'm gonna link it in the description regardless and uh this is this is absolute out and out racism. That's exactly what it is. And let's call it for what it is. 
you certainly had a right to say what you are be your you have a right to have your own opinions, but it is racism. And it can racism can come from white people, it can come from black people, it can come from Hispanic people, it can come from Asian people, it can come from whoever. Whoever thinks that or whoever has these kind of thoughts and these in these kind of ideals are obviously racist. I mean it is what it is. And that's my thoughts on it. Anyway, comment, like, share, subscribe, and uh, see you on the next round of Madness whenever it presents his ugly head, which will probably be in three, two.